Hello everybody, my name is Kezbomb, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a gravity gun in Minecraft. So uh, here we've got our little test subject, look at him. Look at him the bot. Oh, her looks like female skin. She's twerking at me for some reason. Okay, we'll, <laughs> we'll ignore that. So essentially, um, this is what you're going to need to do. I'll show you the uh, commands first. So the main commands are these repeating always active command blocks. You can just take a look at that and uh, do it. I'm not going to go through it or anything. It's very self-explanatory. So there are the commands. And you're going to need to give yourself the tag gravity for this to work. So if you set up a command block like this, when you press the button, it will work. And if you want to take it off yourself, you set up this command block here. You can pause it and take a look at them. As I said, I'm not going to go through it. This is a comparator here. Don't click it. Leave it so that that light is off. And all you have to do to make it work is grab a fishing rod. And you'll see it instantly gets enchanted. Now, once you've got your fishing rod, you can do essentially whatever you want. So you can pick up people or mobs. You can suffocate them throw them under the map and watch them die in the void. Hey, 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 trying to run away. I could hold him into a cactus and let him die. Or place him in a campfire and burn him to death. Or just drop him straight into lava. I said drop him straight into lava. There we go. And he's trying to make a getaway so we'll place him back in his cage. Okay. So this also works for mobs, as you can see. So if we uh, if, if we get all three of them together, you'll see it's going to blow them up. And it works for item drops. So say you want to move a load of items, you can do it like that. <laughs> Please, I've been here for eight months. <laughs> it's actually nine months tomorrow, but whatever. Um, so this works for all types of entities, and you can do full damage using it, as you can see. Um, so, with these entities, it works for things like armor stands. So you can move your armor stands, do whatever you want with them. Here, have an armor stand. Oh, it died. Um, you can also use things like bows and arrows and tridents. So, say if we get a trident. There we go. We've got the trident stuck in there. Now, we can pick it up. And there you go, have a try. So, oh, I'm pretty sure it despawned, but no. Hang on. Let me deal with this. There we go. Um, it works for things like snowballs and eggs. You can catch them midair, and then you can do whatever you want with them. Like, catch this snowball, and I might free you. There you go. I'm not going to free you. That was a lie very clever line. If you catch this arrow, I might though. Oh, yeah, sorry, I forgot about this glitch. Arrows float in mid-air when you let go of them. And I'm pretty sure tridents do too. So you can use this for some cool map building designs if you like. Um, as you can see, they all float no matter wherever you place them. Just if you go into them, they will disappear. And that's what happened earlier. Um, other entities you control are things like falling blocks, such as sand, such as dragon eggs, and anvils. You can control all of these things, so if I try to catch it, it oh. let's try that again. There we go. There you go. Oh. So, as you can see, we can also do it with anvils and also dragon eggs if I can. Yeah, you saw that. Um, our test subject seems to have. Oh, hello. I was about to say he seems to have gotten away, not quite. So, essentially, that's the main premise of the video. That's how it works. It is multiplayer friendly to an extent, if you want it to be so that there can't be any glitches with it, 
you're going to have to set it up for each individual person, unfortunately, rather than just at A. You'd have to put their names in because of the fact that if multiple people have the tag active and one person is holding the fishing rod, then it will give everybody the ability to do it. So even if our test subject wasn't holding the fishing rod, he'd still have the ability to move things as if he was holding the gravity gun. So just watch out for that. But yeah, essentially that's the end of the video. Please send someone as a man to your head. Um, don't listen to him. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm completely legal, not, not a uh, you know, Mexican thing. Anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. If you have, like, comment, subscribe, let me know other command block creations you'd like to see. And I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, goodbye and have a great day. Bye.